creating policies to ban single-use plastics. Canadians are looking for real leadership on how to save the planet. As Ms. Thunberg recently stated, our leaders speak of green eternal economic growth because they are too scared of being unpopular. It's a good thing that we do not care about being popular. We are standing here today with two very simple answers on how we can implement real change in this battle. We call on our federal government to establish an independent board of climate change experts and to provide them with the same level of funding as is received by the Canadian military. If our government is really interested in protecting us, protecting our future, then let us finance the war effort that is actually posing a true threat to our safety and let us restore the health of our natural Woo! environments. Woo! To all of our provincial and municipal governments, let us join the European Union and implement a ban on the majority of single-use plastics that destroy our environment during their production and then go on to destroy many of our natural environments and kill many of our globe's wildlife. At the end of the day, all that we are asking, not begging, is for you to help us stop the madness and start making real change. Woo! I would also like to invite Lena here to speak. Hey. Hi guys, my name is Lena Andres. I'm from Manitoba Youth for Climate Action. So I don't know if you read our last strike, but I shared this speech then. So I guess I'm just gonna share it again today because I wasn't expecting to speak, okay? So we're gonna go with them. Sorry, let me see. Woo! Sorry. Woo! It is an empowering and inexpressible feeling to be in front of all of you here today. We are all here with the same goals in mind. We don't just want these goals to be achieved, we need them to be conquered and taken in stride. These demands of ours are in line with Greta Thunberg's. We too are asking for our Canadian government to do their part in keeping global temperatures below 1.5 degrees Celsius. We are asking that Canada does their job, that our leaders care more about the fact that we are on the list of the top 10 countries that are contributing to climate change. Our government is doing apps almost nothing about this important subject. Mr. Pallister, would you like to come make a statement? Woo! Excuse me, Mr. Pallister! Hi! Would you like to give a statement? Mr. Pallister! If you guys did not hear, that was Mr. Pallister. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, not surprising. <laughs> Our government, as we just saw, is doing almost nothing about this important subject. While Canada is a developed first world country, there is not much that we are leaders on the world stage for. Sure, we export 70% of the world's maple syrup supply, but we are, as of 2015, number nine on the list of emissions per country. While as of 2018, Canada was ranked 10th on the United Nations annual emi emissions per country, oh, sorry, annual human development reports, we have continuously failed our indigenous communities across this nation in terms of reconciliation, protecting their water sources, and exploiting those precious resources for major cities' personal gain, and a basic lack of respect that is very blatantly represented by many members of parliament. Canadian leaders have not yet proven to their young people that they are doing the absolute most to salvage what can still be saved. You know what that means? That means it's time for a change. While most politicians don't think past the next election day, we need to be the driving force that creates a conversation so loud that we are impossible to ignore. We need to be thinking 10 years from now, 20, 50, and 100 years from now. Not just about the world that we will be leaving to our kids, but also to our grandchildren, your children, and all the future generations. By creating an atmosphere where forward thinking is no longer considered taboo or childish, we can build something beautiful and strong. Something that is bigger than all of us. Something that brings people of all races, genders, religions, ages, and sexualities together.
ways that Canadians do, we would need 4.7 Earths to maintain global consumption. Addressing this problem at a consumer level is just a start. We can all do our part to reduce our carbon footprints, but our attitudes need to shift from, sorry, our attitudes need to shift from one person can only do so much to one person can do so much. Yeah! Woo! And it starts here. By showing up today, you have all taken the first couple steps in showing your dedication to the future of humanity. Thank you all for filling me with hope, optimism, and a renewed sense of strength. We are stronger together. We are stronger because we have different individualities with the same and the core belief that everyone deserves to have a future. Thank you. I'm not young. You may not have noticed.